So y'all, yeah, I saw this on threads. It said, dude ghosted me for a week. Should I believe this? Also, he blocked me on Instagram when it happened, but not his phone number. Super sus. And of course, y'all, if y'all knew here, I'm gonna actually diagnose narcissism. Add context, she said, have only been seeing him for a month. Like, I'm just confused why he blocked me on Insta, but not on his phone number. Hmm. So I'm not saying that this person is a narcissist, but this is how a lot of narcissistic, toxic, manipulative, manipulative people communicate with you. After ghosting you, they give you some type of some type of BS reason as to why they just disappeared from you, from your life with no explanation. Hi, I don't even know where to begin. That's literally him starting off the message by saying, I didn't really have a reason to ghost you. I owe you a huge apology and explanation. I had bad news on Saturday I had to deal with, and even worse news today. You did absolutely nothing wrong. You are an amazing person inside and out. Some people could, would consider that as like a little love bomb right there. Him trying to make you feel good. Just like you were, you did nothing wrong. You were so amazing. I can't believe what I did. I can't believe why I did this. And then the vagueness of I owe you an explanation, but not telling you what, did, what they did. Huh? I got bad news and I got even worse news today. So I got worse news today, but... I ghosted you and started contacting you today for some reason. I got the, the original bad news made me ghost you, but the bad news I had today, which is worse, made me contact you. Hmm? This whole thing is one big run on sentence, y'all, so I'm putting periods in here. <laughs> here comes the victim mode. I don't expect to hear back from you or, or you wanting to talk to me, but I'd much rather do it in person than through the phone. This is exactly what a lot of narcissistic people try to do right here, y'all. They want to see you in person. Like in person, they can show you how much they care. They can just start crying and show you how much, how emotional they are, and how much it hurts them. It hurts them to ghost you with no exp explanation. And I know I'm the last person you want to hear from, but you're going to hear from me anyway. I don't expect to hear from you, but I want to talk to you in person. Like, look how, like, <laughs> how entitled do you have to be to say, I don't expect to hear from you, but I want to meet in person. <laughs> what? I've been thinking about you every day. It's been extremely hard to be this distant from you, but I just wanted to let you know you had nothing to do with, to do with at all. You did nothing at all to push me away or for me to want to cut you off. I'm really sorry. This, y'all, I don't care who you are. This is absolutely not an apology. This is BS. This this whole thing is. If someone ghosts you, there's a reason behind it. He's trying to make it, he's trying to go into victim mode. Like, I got such, such bad news. I'm actually the victim here. It hurt me to hurt you. It hurt me more to hurt you. I know I ghosted you, but come on, y'all. Come on. Finger snaps. Whatever it takes for you to wake up right here, wake up. Somebody ghosts you one time, they'll ghost you again because they think you, I'm gonna be real with you. If you're dealing with the narcissist, they think you're stupid. They think you're stupid, gullible, vulnerable, all, all the mean things. They think that. If you respond to this, they know they got you. You don't have to respond at all. But if they, you respond or you don't block them, they feel like they got you. My thoughts are you get blocked on Instagram, but not the phone. There's something going on on Instagram. That's, that's, that's the, the, simple, the simplest explanation is normally the explanation. Somebody even commented, said he has a girl, doesn't want that girl to find out about you on his IG. Probably has this girl saving his phone under a dude's name. It's easy. There's something going on. It wasn't the BS. It wasn't bad news. <laughs> this person or this guy, girl, whoever reached out to her, um, thought they had found somebody better, thought they found a permanent source of supply or a partner, and it might not have worked out for them. Or it might actually be working out, and they're trying to keep you on the side. They just want to reach out to you just enough so you don't leave them alone. I, I'm just, Hey, I'm just saying. But again, me personally... I would suggest not reaching out to this person, not contacting them, just blocking them immediately. For what? For what? If they can ghost you, they'll do it again, and you're gonna you're gonna feel you're gonna feel you're gonna feel bad. I'll just tell you, I can't believe I let that happen, and they're gonna gallop off into the sunlight. Anyways, y'all, I, I break down text messages and do videos like this all the time over on my YouTube channel. Same name over there as over here. It's mental illness. Thanks.